Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the Bob Suite famous plugin or extension called as Bob Suite Turbo Intruder. So in my previous video, I got a feedback saying like I speak slightly bit faster, so I need to slow down the tempo. And also the video camera that has been recorded was 360p or something. So this time around, I change it to 1080p and let's see how it goes. So both the feedback are taken into consideration and I have worked on it. So let's see uh, in this video how we are going to utilize Bob Suite Turbo Intruder as well as we will see like uh, what are the different options. So in many YouTube many videos saying like uh, you know Turbo Intruder to run from our uh, Linux box. So in this specific case we are going to run this Turbo Intruder from my Windows system only which will make more sense and definitely give you more idea how to go about it. So let's just go in this particular video. So if you could see that I have opened this Bob Suite Community Edition uh, that is 2021 edition. So let me just quickly go ahead and open the browser. So this is basically the Bob Suite uh, default browser. I am not using Firefox or Chrome, right? So once you open the browser, okay, it got loaded in some other place. Uh, but before going into browser, basically quickly summarize about what is the difference between Turbo Intruder and Intruder. Like why you should go for Turbo Intruder? Why not the normal Intruder feature that you see over here inside Bob Suite? Now, there are multiple advantages of using this Turbo Intruder. Now, first one is, of course, it is much more faster because it typically open five to six thread basically, which will go ahead about the performing any kind of attack. Like uh, you want to perform something brute force attack or something, you know, you want to fudge or something. So that's where this particular Turbo Intruder will respond more positively and run thousands of uh, attack in a single go. Now, again, if I have not said in this particular video, this is all for educational purpose. Do not misutilize the content. Okay. Now, second one is your uh, Turbo Intruder consume less memory compared to the Intruder because Intruder basically might need some time uh, more memory whenever you run it. Probably if you go to the task manager, you will see that like how much memory consumed by Intruder. The Bob Suite memory consumption will increase suddenly. Wherein in Turbo Intruder, it will consume less memory and provide more output or effective output, I would say. Next one is Turbo Intruder is based on Python script. So basically, you have the control in some of the customized case that uh, you have to modify some of the parameter, which we will show in the demos in slight bit second. And uh, that is where it gives you more control basically to customize as per your need and run the payload. Now, the last one is uh, reliability. Uh, I have got Sometimes failure about uh, you know running that uh, intruder and uh, sometimes I have scheduled actually in one of my cases for weekend based brute forcing. But that feature was not properly working with the Bob suit in like three four year back. But right now with Turbo Intruder you can basically rely on that feature. So we'll see in the demo how this Turbo Intruder look like and how does it go. So let me just go ahead and open one of my testing website, not my basically IBM testing website. That is demo.testfire.net. Okay. My bad. So this is where we are going to perform the attack. Now, as soon as you see, Bobsuit has captured the request. So let me just click on turn off the interception, and I will not uh, spend more time uh, with some other th stuff, but directly take you to the login page and try perform a brute force attack and show you how it works with Turbo Intruder. Now, if you click on the sign in feature, and this is what you are going to see screen. Now let's just go ahead and put some of the dummy value. So I will say admin consider I am trying to brute force to this particular login field with the password. So admin in the username and password I don't know. Okay. So we are going to brute force for the password field. Now let me just quickly capture this particular request. And yes, but before that let me show you how do you actually install this particular plugin. So you can go to this extender and go to this app store. And if you scroll down go to the T tab, I mean T letter. So you could see that Turbo Intruder is one of the extension that I'm using over here. So it says like fast, flexible, scalable and convenient. So I've just simply click uh, over here to install just like any other, uh, you know, extension. So for let's say you want to install token jar, then you can click install over here. If you want to install Turbo Intruder, you can go ahead and click on install over here and it will install for you. Now, okay, let's go back to the proxy tab. After that is installed properly, all I am doing is trying to submit this particular request. Now, if you see that over here, I have UID admin and password is something I don't know. I want to fudge. So to do that, I can go ahead and click on right click and send it to Turbo Intruder. Now, this is where the plugin will come into picture. And this is the auto generated script that you are going to see. 
okay so the script is uh, really simple so what we are going to do is this is the request basically and we wanted to fudge for password field so all i have to do is provide this particular string that i wanted to fudge uh, or particular area or parameter that i wanted to fudge I have to specify with percentage as this is, this is where the source is like this is where the point i wanted to fudge next one it has to be the you know which kind of script that you wanted to use so as say uh, let's say over here i'm going to utilize the basic python script right so the moment you load this basic python script it is going to load the same particular you know uh, script that typically it provide now all you have to do is you can see multiple parameter we have tried to understand this particular script a bit so it says like it's going to target the endpoint and concurrent connection it says like five so it's basically opening five thread let's increase it to seven why because seven is my favorite number okay just kidding next is the request per connection so it says like 100 so for connection it is going to send 100 connection and there are seven uh, connection basically so it is 700 request per connection i mean per second or something so it's really huge number now for word which word list that you wanted to use so over here we have this pass i mean dictionary words so let's go ahead and change you to a local word list right which i was stored on my local okay so i have copied that uh, password.txt and i'm going to utilize over here or paste it over here now please note you have to use double slash not single slash okay because it's a windows system and this is how the slash is going to work like the forward slash you don't also have to use backward slash now uh, then another important part is uh, handle the response now you want to see the response for which particular request i mean response so you could see that request.status if it is not equal to 404 so it is going to display all the result whichever are matching let's say 200 300 i mean 500 whatever but not 404 okay so it's not going to display anything related to 404 but apart from that whichever other uh, request i mean response it get it's going to show so once you do with this setup and all you have to click on attack now the moment you click on attack this is where the engine is warming up i mean it's ready to fire that's so where i say turbo intruder is much more powerful because you will notice like how many uh, queue it has opened and within some second it has basically completed the all the password list like 104 and uh, how do you analyze about whether which one is the correct password well the methodology is same classical you have to rely on either status code or the length so let's sort by status code so here we see 302 for maximum or almost all the status code so nothing useful now if i check the length uh, here i could see that for admin that is fifth row and admin password you could see that admin admin password uh, you could see the 302 found and the location is uh, banks slash main.jsp this means that this is the correct credential and uh, this is where we are going to get the right uh, you know password and we have successfully performed the brute force attack now turbo intruder actually is really faster and let me just quickly show you some more feature of that so if you come here uh, this is the it has basically a different template also which you can utilize let's say i wanted to use something let's say uh, multi-parameter so if you want to fudge for both user and password in that case you have to provide the user and password list in both the uh, you know first and second word and then you can go for fudging uh, similarly you have also for i believe i saw another rate limit one this is also really not interesting as the descriptions is like throttle the attack request per request and per x request that's the one of the beautiful extension so i would definitely encourage you to utilize this particular tool turbo intruder which is faster than uh, about normal intruder and uh, that's pretty much it about this particular video of course i forgot to say you one more thing maybe i think i forgot to tell you about this stuff more importantly like the request status you can obviously change it to 302 or something whichever status code you are looking for let's say i'm changing it to 302 right so in that particular case it will be something like equal to equal to 302 okay this is how it is going to do and you just need to click on attack and it will start attacking right again it says percent is uh, s is not marked so this is one of the great feature within this tool so you can always go back and configure whichever field you have not marked or if you are making some mistake within your script so that's pretty much about this particular video i hope you'd have liked something do hit like share this video with your friends and your colleagues and i hope to see you in another video till then have a great time thanks for watching